fire balloons, and terror blimps. Israeli media has constantly been trying to play the victim card by publishing stories like this. These stories are always published without context, just picking up in the present time, without acknowledging the history or complete reality, as if snipers didn't murder children protesting for their freedoms just the previous day, as if Palestinians aren't under a constant and brutal occupation. Even though the Israeli war machine is one of the largest and most brutal in the world, and even though Israel is systematically ethnically cleansing Palestinians, by putting these stories out there, it offers this false narrative that there are two sides. Well, you know, we have fire balloons and we have bombings. You know, there's really two sides to the conflict. But would we say something like there were two sides to the genocide of Native Americans? So why do we say these things about Israel? The state of Israel is not and has never been an innocent party acting in self-defense. It is a racist apartheid settlement forced upon the Palestinian people. In 1948, Israel was carved on a land where people were already living. Those that weren't expelled were subjected to apartheid second-class living if they stayed. Israel has since expanded its rule through occupation of the West Bank and Gaza, where it continues its brutal ethnic cleansing and land theft. There are no two sides. There is no negotiation needed. It needs to be stopped and dismantled. This is not a deeply complicated issue as is portrayed in the media. There's only one moral position to take, and that is for ultimate freedom, democracy, and equality. If the media continues to allow Israel to push these narratives that it's a complex issue with two legitimate sides in a conflict, then the public will find Israel's actions justifiable and the suffering will continue. This week, Israeli Prime Minister Netanyahu and Defense Minister Lieberman threatened even more horrific violence upon the Palestinians if they didn't stop protesting. Netanyahu said, quote, if they don't stop the attacks, they will be stopped in another way which will be painful, very painful. Lieberman said, quote, the only way to bring back the quiet is a hard blow. Lieberman says the only way for peace is through extreme violence. Giving these people their rights, which they're dying for in protest, just isn't an option. And he's allowed to say these things, and these narratives are allowed to persist due to media complicity. So please share this video and our reports on If Americans New, and let's make sure the truth is heard.